वेलकम इन दिस लेक्चर वी वुड फोकस ऑन फॉल्ट्स एंड टाइप ऑफ फॉल्ट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वेयर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन स्ट्राइक एंड डेप दोस कंपोनेंट्स एंड दोस कांसेप्ट्स वुड बी हाईली एप्लीकेबल व्हेन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट फॉल्ट्स नाउ व्हाट इज फॉल्ट फॉल्ट इज सिंपली अ नैरो जोन व्हिच हैज अ विजिबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ दिस इज अ पीस ऑफ ब्लॉक If this is a piece of block, I can say there is a clear displacement which is visible because this green line, which originally should be here, is now at a new location. And therefore, I can say what is fault? Fault is nothing but a real visible displacement that you can see on a surface structure. So not only in the basement of the layer, but even at the surface, you can understand. the topography very very well and this explains a discontinuity if it was in the same fashion so i say let's say these are the rock samples right ab and ab so if it was like this it is called as a continuous rock sample however if it is abc and this is abc rock arrangement there is a discontinuity this a which should have been here is now at a new location and this shows that these faults create a discontinuity this continuity could be either in the velocity or in the displacement associated to it now when we focused on faults we understood that because of the compression there could be folding that can occur however when we talk about fault fault could, could be generated because of the tensional force because of the shear forces or sometimes even because of the compressive forces there can be faults we would understand faults and the related terminology as we proceed so here we have seen i have a very simple example to demonstrate i have two pieces here now these two pieces and understand these as two surface rocks now as you can see they have two layers the blue one and the black one at the bottom right now when they uh, the yellow one and the black one at the bottom now when they are aligned together it appears like this but what happen if there is a tensional force a pull force or uh, some other tectonic disturbance this rock the first surface could slide like this now when it slides like this as you can see the black line of the first would match with the yellow line and the black line of the other would go down to it i hope i can make it more clear so initially this was like this okay now it has been displaced so this part which is moving down actually or is moving along the dip is called as the hanging wall the other part which remains stable is called as the foot wall so terminology is to understand here foot wall is the the surface part which remains stable the part that moves along the dip is the hanging wall so when we have a structure like this to demonstrate it better okay i would say that this is sliding right now when this part is sliding this is the hanging wall the original part is the foot wall another important thing with the surface this component is what is called as strike it is with reference to the north and south perpendicular to the north and south is what is called as dip so this angle is called as dip dip angle is perpendicular to the surface right so the dip angle is perpendicular to the sur to the strike and is making an angle with the surface so this angle is dip the other angle other than the dip which is formed is known as head okay so another important terminology i can say this head is nothing but 90 minus dip now we understand what is foot wall hanging wall strike and dip head we understood that is the angle which is 90 minus the dip angle throw and heave throw is the vertical component heave is the horizontal component so h for horizontal h for heave and throw is the vertical component another important thing this part was the original part is this and this is the original part so this is what is called as the net displacement of the rock so that is the net displacement